Good morning. We're on now day six of our 31 days of prayers for our youth. Yeah, I want to tell you, I want to give you a little backstory on why I started this. Um, it's very important to me. So, um, two Sundays ago at church, one of our grandmothers got up for prayer for her um grandson who was murdered by a 16 year old that same sunday about five o'clock in the afternoon in the evening another one of our grandmothers lost her grandson 16 year old to gun 16 years old to gun violence as well and so our pastor was saying that uh he had gotten a call black lives matters wanted to have a rally at the church because of the policeman murdering our young African-American males. And there have actually been some females as well. And I'm going to say young, some were teenagers and some were older. But he said that he turned them down. And he said, just bear with me. He said, I didn't turn it down, you know, um, because I didn't think it was important, but it is. He says, but nothing is done when the blacks are killing each other. Each other. We don't march. We don't do anything. And so my concern is that these are somebody's children and grandchildren. And when this happens, in this instance, there are four families who are grieving. Two, as I've said, the kids are, 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 are gone for good. And the other two lives are ruined they're going to be institutionalized probably if they're tried for adults for the as adults i'm sorry for the rest of their lives so you know yeah it's important that we march um and we protest you know to let our voices be heard let our concerns be heard but we can't just stop marching uh for the black on black crime because it's, it's you know it's just too much but our youth how do we reach them what do we do? We bring them to God. God needs to be the foundation because a lot of what's happening is they're worshiping things. Uh, uh, I've seen instances that I watch a lot of the ID channel where people or children are murdered over the uh, popularity or uh, uh, the lifestyle that, they're, uh, that the parents enable them to live. Just all kind of things. But if we just get back to the basics, give our kids to God, I do think that we will experience change. I really, really do. Our focus is just on the wrong things. Who have the, the nicest Jordans? Who is the freshest? Who is the flyest? Yes, I'm not saying you, you know, you want your children to look good, but you want them to have a good heart. And that's something that people can't see unless they're able to actually show it in action, the way they treat each, the way they treat people. You know, you think about it. You got a child that's dressed in name brand from head to toe. There's nothing wrong with that. Please hear me out. But what I'm saying is they're disrespectful, unlawful, a menace to society. Give your kids God and, and, and let them know that life, Life is given by God. And they need to be grateful for all things. So, day six is the spirit of commitment. The spirit of commitment. And the text comes from Joshua 24 and 15. And it reads, And if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose you this day whom you will serve, whether the gods which your father served that were on the other side of the flood, or the gods of the Amorites in whose land ye dwell. But as, but as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. prayer of commitment to God 
And this is by Angus MacKillop. Commitment means pledging oneself to something or to someone else with dedication and loyalty. Making a commitment is making a promise, a vow, a pledge, and an obligation binding oneself. Jesus and the writers of the Bible ask many times that we make a commitment and we bind ourselves to him. In the Lord's Prayer of Matthew and 6, we find a simple statement of commitment, which Christians often overlook. Your kingdom come is a dangerous prayer, for it means the death of our sovereignty. It means that we submit before the throne of the Most High God, and when we do not, we submit, I'm sorry, and when we do that, we submit all we are and all we have and all that is due to us. As I was answering a prayer request today, the Lord put it in my heart to correct the view that it is good and proper to pray for our wants rather than our needs. He showed me that what is important to him is our commitment to him, but that so few confessing, confessing Christians seem to be prepared to make that sacrifice. As the Bible says in Psalm 51 and 17, the sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and a contrite heart, O oh God, you will not despise. Without commitment, we cannot possibly achieve that. Committing to Jesus was not easy. For many, it is no easier now. Remember the verses of Matthew 8, 19 through 22. Then a teacher of the law came to him and said, Teacher, I will follow you any place you go. Jesus said to him, The foxes have holes to live in, the birds have nests, but the Son of Man has no place to rest. Another of Jesus' followers said to him, Lord, I will follow you too, but let me go and bury my father first. But Jesus said to him, Follow me, and let those who are dead bury their own dead. Remember also the words of Jesus in John 15 and 20. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. And in Mark 8 and 35, where Jesus clearly prophesied their future saying, For whoever will save his life shall lose it. But whoever shall lose his life for my sake and the gospels, he shall save it. Yes, Jesus warned his followers clearly of the issues that would come their way. Of those who persisted in commitment and followed him, so many died a brutal martyr's death. Christian commitment requires faith. For without faith it is impossible to please him. For he who comes to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. That's Hebrews 11 and 6. And faith is of hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Romans 10 and 17. I invite you and urge you therefore to pray the following prayer of commitment to the Lord our God. But be warned, it is a dangerous prayer, for the Lord demands our all, our everything, leaving no stone unturned. Giving our commitment, our will, and our lives to the Lord as we ought, we acknowledge his kingship over our lives. We recognize his sovereignty over our lives. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, you are my Lord and my God. I know from your word that a broken spirit a broken and a contrite heart is a sacrifice, O oh God, that you will not despise. I come before you now to offer myself to you, Lord God, all of me, my body, my mind, and my soul. All I have, all I am are yours and yours alone. I confess, Lord, that I am a sinner and I ask for your forgiveness for all the sins I have committed. I repent of my sins, Lord, and with your help, I choose to turn away from them and I proceed in the opposite direction, turning to you alone. In the name of Jesus, I choose to forgive all those who have ever wronged me or who have ever spoken slanderous words against me. I bless each one of them in the name of Jesus and pray that the love and peace of Jesus will fall heavily upon them now. Lord God, I freely and most willingly submit my will before you now and ask that from now on, you and only you will lead me. I also submit my body to you as a living sacrifice for your use and the use of your kingdom. Lord, let me no longer be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of my mind such that I might be a sacrifice of your good and acceptable and perfect will. Search me, O God, and know my heart. 
Test me and try me, Lord, and know my thoughts and see if there is any wickedness in me. Lead me, O Lord, in your everlasting ways. Break me and remold me, Lord. Reshape me, Lord, into the image which you desire of me. Stretch me, Lord, and expand me into the new areas of life which you have destined for me. Lead me, Lord, unto and along that narrow path which you have chosen for me, so that my destiny may be fulfilled exactly as you have planned since before I was in my mother's womb. Use me, Lord, for the magnification of your name and your glory, and for your kingdom according to your will. O oh Lord, give, O oh, oh Lord God, as I submit myself to you, I commit to doing everything I do, to saying everything I say, and to choosing everything I choose for the sake of your kingdom and not mine. Father, I pray this in the mighty name of your Son, Lord Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. Amen.